interesting is like, okay, so how does our, our art noise, is it a platform for information? Is it a platform for propaganda? Is it ultimately entertainment? Is it a form of therapy? Is it, a, so you've got all these different things. And I look at this very seriously. I, I, I don't sit in any particular camp. I'm just looking at noise always, always seemed to be the most remote. It's way over here in a macro society of larger culture. Okay. So like, you know, no, you know, all confessions here. I watch a lot of TV. I do. I, I watch a lot of television, not just sports, but all sorts of TV. And I'm amazed on how much money is put into these productions for reality TV or these uh, game shows that talk back to the 50s where like, you know, yeah. America's yeah. got talent, uh, the voice, uh, the mass singer and all this stuff. And this is nothing new. This is a, a standard formula that people are going to tune in and watch something like this. Yeah. And then you've got reality TV shows, okay, of a, of a myriad of different ideas, but they usually go back of like taking people that seemingly don't get along with each other, but have a lot in common and kind of putting them in very tight situations and see how they bounce off each other, the sort right. of tension and interaction, you know, and I always say to myself, like, you know, like I'm always thinking how and why does noise because like i've seen everything else done we've seen hip-hop right the wives of hip-hop the, you know, the right. whatever wives of basketball players hot wives of this wives of that you know like and then like, you've got like dr drew's rehab where you see sometimes uh you know uh, celebrities or minor celebrities going on there you know and all this so like i, I really mean this and i mean this is just like my hollywood pitch here but like why is it that like you couldn't take like a house and you take a bunch of noise people and you throw them in the house and this one's doing circuit bending and this one's building a synthesizer and this one's going on tour. So there's like this, like, you know, and I would say like, people would like, look at this and say, this is fascinating. Like, what the hell are they doing? Is this even art? And it was like, i never understood why it even like MTV would have 120 minutes. Sometimes they would have these other weird shows, but they never went for the pulp of it. They never, right. you know, and, 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 you know, Darby always reminds me, it's like the moment that huge entertainment, which is just a giant corporation, you know, conglomerate of like several different studios, once they get their hands, their mitts on your music, on your art, they'll tweak it around. They'll throw it back out at you and it won't even represent what you're doing anymore. It's sort sure. of like, right. It's like back in the 80s, they were like Chips and Quincy had punk episodes where the punks were doing something wrong but then there were some good punks with some good hearts and it's like okay so like there's some good people in the punk scene but a lot of the punks are just out of control and they're causing damage and they're doing drugs and they're, and like okay so like it gave that week in school was hell because they saw chips and they're like yeah there's the guy causing all the trouble you're the punk rocker and i'm like hey man i'm not doing and like it you know black flag and look at this is anarchy you're the you know like trouble you're the troubled kid and i'm like thanks hollywood thank you yeah. you know so in one way i see so much potential for what we're doing because i really see it as a positive i see that art like this noise art is noise and the art that comes from it is extremely positive it gets people together when you start a label you start to learn about business you have to like balance your budget if you're like putting out 500 tapes and only three sell what are you going to do with the rest of them put them on discogs i mean like you have to figure yeah. out okay i put out 20 20 sell next time i'll put out 20 they want more i'll put out so like you start to understand business aspects at the same time you're starting to understand how you know people work operate you know Hi, I'm, I'm uh, you know, I got this new project. I want to be on your, 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 you know, your fest. I'm like, well, you know, sure. But like, so are you and 300 other guys. So, I mean, like, how do you pick that out? So it's like, you start to go, hmm. So like, you get, sometimes you get a little daunted, a little frustrated, like, okay, so this, this, this. But the thing is, is that like big entertainment and big, big sort of like media, okay, has seemed to just basically ice us out completely, you know? But if like, you know, and I know that if like someone like, I don't know who's really big right now, but e. Taylor Swift or like, uh, uh, what's his name? Post Malone. If he decided to do an abstract record with noises and stuff, 
somehow that would be accepted, even though there's guys that have been in the business. I mean, guys, I mean, people, everyone uh, who has been doing this for 20, 30 plus years. And then here comes like the fast trackers and they just get in there. So like these things always stick in my mind. I'm like, okay, this art is truly. And another thing too, I'll, I'll put this out there too. Wherever there's money, there's corruption. Wherever there's money, there's got to be corruption. Someone's going to try to make a dollar off it. Now, whether it's like a, a very swift businessman, like someone who might be running for president at this point, a very right. swift and slick person that talks a lot of bullshit like that. I don't want to get into that, but like, yeah. you know, he's like a con artist, bullshit artist. Okay. Those people get into it or organized crime. <laughs> we'll have a club that we'll, we'll, we can launder money through a club. A lot of these clubs that you see are basically just havens like these underground warehouse clubs. They're basically just havens for drug dealers. Sure. Drug dealers show up, they go up, they happen in Minneapolis, they happen in New York, LA. So suddenly there's a warehouse, social media, there's a thousand people in this place. People are selling drugs, people are doing whatever. No one asks questions. Where is all this money coming from? Who's setting up these shows? Whatever, right? It seems like for now, and hopefully it stays that way, Noise has been untouched by criminal elements. And I know it sounds crazy, but like, I don't know sometimes who owns clubs or buildings or venues or spaces. I don't know. I don't ask all the questions. I'm sure there's a way of tracing it back and saying, okay, so this person owns it or whatever. But uh, for the most part, the people who come into noise are on the up and up. They're honest. They're not trying to make a fast buck. They're not trying to exploit people. They're not trying to like rip off people. Sure, some things. Sometimes things go bad. Right. Oh, you put on my record. You didn't put on my record. No, A side is B side. You know, these things happen. But I'm talking about just like a full blown sort of like negative criminal element has not penetrated the noise right. scene, which I really appreciate. I don't want to say it for other co- genres of music or art, but like I think you understand that there's other genres of music and other genres of, of art that have this sort of like we don't know all the picture. Like, you know, NFTs and stuff like that, right. you know, or Bitcoin or yeah, there's the the new club, the club. And right. It suddenly just appears and like all these people are playing it. But like you don't really know where's all is it is this an investment? Is it like where does it so like in one way noise has been kept quite innocent and honest because of that. And yeah. you have to be honest in this deal because it's a small scene. It's very it's small. small. It'll get all over the place and says, yeah, don't deal with that guy yeah, at all. So you have to be, it, it keeps everyone honest, I think, in the room. Because if you can say, yeah, man, I'm just going to fuck this guy over and grab this shit and put it over here and put it over there. And then like, it, and, and, and who knows if you're, if, you're, if you're actually funding this thing with illicit activity, drugs, human trafficking. I have no idea. But these things happen in other genres and right. other cultures. And, and I'm not pointing them out, but I'm just saying... It's interesting how we're so remote, we're way over here, but yet it keeps us golden and, and honest. 